How's it going everybody? So lately I've been contemplating a whole lot of things about nutrition and health, uh, especially because I have been experimenting with a carnivore diet for the past, uh, it's been like 10 days now. And by the way, I've experienced extraordinary, extraordinary benefits so far. But uh, this experiment has kind of been boggling my mind. Like it's, it's just really crazy. Um, as somebody who's been studying nutritional medicine or nutritional healing for uh, around five years now it's been, has it? Yeah, it's been about five years. It's just crazy to think like there's a possibility we may not need plants after all. There's a possibility that even the probiotics in our gut, their only purpose is to digest those plant foods in which feed that gut bacteria, which is pretty crazy considering just how much money I've spent on uh, probiotic supplements and prebiotic supplements in the past, you know, years ago. Anyway, one question I have for you all is, okay, so first of all, how many of y'all already knew grains are seeds? How, how many of y'all knew that? You know, technically we call them grains, but technically these grains, all grains, are they function as seeds in nature. They're essentially seeds. Um, for example, cereal grains are the seeds of grass, okay? But grains are seeds. That's what they are. So think about this. Naturally, what species of animals consume seeds as a regular, normal, natural part of their diet? What are the main species? What, 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 I mean, for me personally, I haven't looked it up yet, but I've been thinking about it a lot. And as far as I know, off the top of my head, the only species I can think of is birds, but I'm sure there's more. I just haven't looked it up yet, and I should have, right? But uh, birds eat a whole lot of seeds, right? That's like a lot of their diet. And I'm not sure if that's what they're originally intended to eat. But uh, a large amount of birds are seed eaters. That's not including the bald eagle. I believe the eagles are... Wait, am I the bald eagle? Nah. Vultures and eagles are carn carnivorous animals. But like, um, I think flamingos eat are, are, are also, but anyway, anyway, you get the picture, um, I mean, how similar are humans to birds, right, think about that, I know this is pro this is completely not really scientific, but it's just an interesting thing to think about, uh, what else, um, what else, uh, so, seeds are meant to be consumed and not completely digested so that they can be planted in the soil and fertilized by poop, right? So like humans, when we eat seeds, now since seed is very common for us to poop them out undigested, even if we soak them, sprout them, make them into smoothies and things, right? Um, not a lot of people know that poop is fertilizer. I know it's it's crazy, right? <laughs> it's common sense. But poop is fertilizer, okay? And like vegetables and plant foods require manure or animal poop in order to fertilize these plants, in order to grow these plants. And see, so you put the seeds in the soil and you use poop or whatever to make them grow. Uh, so the point is, think about this, seeds are meant to be consumed only so that you could shit them out into soil and plant them with your manure, with your, with your fertilized poop, okay? Seeds and poop plus soil equals growing plants. The point is, grains are seeds, and it's no surprise to me that so many people have trouble con uh, digesting grains. And a vast majority of people, especially vegans, have trouble digesting these and have side effects of 
these foods digestion, but they don't actually realize it or recognize it as side effects because they think it's normal. They think it's normal to have excessive gas, bloating, and digestive problems. Now, the crazy thing is when you don't consume any fiber or you don't consume uh, grains or, or, or any plant foods at all, you still have regular bowel movements, but the volume is much less. Like they're, they're healthy bowel movements for sure. Um, you have no bloating, no signs of digestive discomfort at all. People completely clear up their Crohn's disease and inflammatory bowel conditions, which by the way, you know, everyone links meat to cancer and meat to inf inflammation conditions of the intestine. It's supposed to be horrible for our gut health, but people are reversing their gut disease on this diet, eating nothing but red meat. And yet, we're not constipated. Common wisdom is that when you, you need fiber in order to poop, in order to avoid constipation. But the fact is, a lot of people actually develop constipation when they eat grains or if they eat um, a, a whole lot of fiber, even months after adapt, supposedly adapting the fibrous diet, they still have constipations. It's not just, oh, I switched to a fibrous diet and now I have constipation because I'm not adapting to it. You know, I know it takes time, but a lot of people still have constipation. I believe that it's, um, it's just... A lot of people cannot tolerate the fiber and other things in these grains. Honestly, I do not believe that the majority of species on this planet are meant to eat these foods. Uh, I know that um, obviously livestock, you know, cattle and whatnot and factory farms, you know, they're fed grains and grain fed cattle um, commonly are very, very sick. Okay, if you look at I mean, there's other factors involved too, but they, they feed them grains. And, and in fact, my dad has a, a ranch. His family owns a ranch, um, a gigantic ranch, in fact. And they have horses and they have, uh, they have cattle and they have hogs and they have all sorts of animals on their ranch. And I went to feed them when I was a child several times and uh, they, would feed, they, would, they would feed the deer um, like corn and grain feed. They'd buy big bags of, of feed and my dad said it was to fatten up the uh, to fatten them up because they can consume uh, foods naturally or whatever, but they need to supplement their diet. And uh, anyway, uh, it was primarily to fatten them up. Okay, uh, the majority of these animals are consuming large amounts of grains to be fattened up. And my dad said that um, you know farms that feed them grains in order to produce food where their animals are being produced for food, they feed them significantly larger amounts of grains compared to what my dad was feeding our animals. Um, he says, you know, to survive, the cheapest and most cost-effective way to feed cattle is with grains. But um, if you want to maximize your, your output of profit, selling your animals for food, you need to fatten them up with grains. And the point is, these animals get sick, these animals get inflamed. The whole purpose of feeding them grains is to uh, basically bloat them up and inflame them and create more fatty tissue uh, for greater poundages of meat per portion. Uh, so they can maximize profit and minimize costs, right? These animals get sick, they get fat as a result, and they're not even meant to eat grains. Um, Herbivorous animals are actually meant to consume large amounts of plants, obviously, like greens and things like that. And in their colons, they actually ferment the fiber and convert it into short-chain saturated fatty acids. So the majority of these herbivorous animals actually consume 50 to 80% of their energy intake from fat that is converted from the fiber they eat in their plant foods. But grains... Um, is much more carbohydrate rich and glucose rather than fiber, which converts into fatty acids, which makes them fat. Anyway, um, I'll have more in the next video. So stay tuned, leave your questions and comments down below. Just some of my thoughts from the last couple weeks and I'll talk to you soon.